Oh, this is a good one. And I agree with this one wholeheartedly. Holds up well, I would say. Okay. The 1997 invasion angle. Ah. The WWF. The WWF invasion angle of ECW, Jerry Lawler, extremely crappy wrestling, Mr. Monday Night RVD. Would you agree with this one? Yeah, I think so. I think um, I think any organization right now can do something like this just to incorporate. Like, let's say, like, um, wasn't there supposed to be a working angle back in the day? with uh aew bringing in tna or impact talent for yeah. a hot minute yeah. you know and that's just a way to get uh tna talent over on a bigger platform you know what i mean and so i i think it works i mean if if the two can come to agreement and work together i think it benefits both companies it benefits the talent so i think it, it's a good thing to do stuff like that um i'm not really sure uh nowadays you know people want to be associated with each other anyway it just seems like there's a big war going on who can be number one which you all know it's wwe uh now forever and <laughs> what's their slogan then now forever it's oh, always yeah. going to be wwe um but i think uh joining forces and collabing uh, you know two feds doing stuff like this i think it's good for everyone and I, I just think it helps the product. It gets more eyes on both organizations. Um, so when we did stuff like this, having Jerry Lawler come down and then mentioning us on, you know, like Monday Night Raw, it it gave us more of a rub than obviously it gave them because they didn't need it. But it was still beneficial for everyone, especially for like someone like Rob Van Dam, who later goes there and becomes a megastar, you know? And I just saw a video of Jerry and he had, what did he have? Like a stroke or something? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Major, um, major stroke. Yeah. And it, oh my God, it was breaking my heart. Like the lady was like touring his uh, man cave and he was just walking around just, you know, talking about the good old days and stuff. And I love Jerry Lawler. He's always been great to me. Um, but what, you know, when he came down, I remember when he came to EC dub, we hardly even saw him like the one night I think he had like his own dressing area. He never came and sat with us and stuff. Um, maybe he didn't like ECW back then. I don't know, but he was always professional and um, it just, I think it gave us an extra oomph that we needed because it got more eyes on our product. So um, I think other companies could do it today and still good to go. It just helps everyone involved. It goes back to, so Paul appears on the WWF Livewire show as a caller, right? That was like the first little crossover that they had. Oh, and that he, was when Tammy was answering the phone? Yes. Yeah. 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 And it yeah. was like, you know, he, he, that. he was like, you know, uh, John in White Plains. And they were like, no, this is Paul in Philadelphia, you know, and Vince, because Vince was on the show. Then it was. Dreamer, Paul, and Sandman in the crowd at Mind Games, which was in Philly at the Spectrum. And that's where they're holding up their tickets. Yeah, that's the where they hold up the tickets. Yeah. And then Taz is in the crowd with a, uh, you know, Vince Fears ECW sign, right? That I think that was the next night. Then it was Jerry Lawler starts calling out ECW, extremely crappy yep. wrestling leading up to the Raw We've talked about it. It's on the YouTube channel. I'm, we're not going to dive into the full thing again. It's a, it's a long story. The Raw you were not at where the crossover pay-per-view promotion was such a huge deal where it went back and forth between WWF and ECW on a Monday Night Raw at the Manhattan Center. Like, mm -hmm. nuts. Right. To, to lead to the picture we're seeing on our screen is actually when it switched over to Raw's War, they did it again where they did a debate between – Paul Heyman and Jerry Lawler where guys came back and forth where there was another ECW crossover, which was an odd one. It was RVD representing, I think it was RVD or Sabu representing ECW taking on triple threat member, Chris Candido. Hmm. Do you remember that? Not really. No, he's in an ECW jacket. Okay. He is in his full fledged triple threat. You know, hmm. dominance. He's a part of your faction. Right. He comes out to the ECW theme song. Paul's on commentary, mentions the triple threat. 
Chris holds up the three, but there's no, yeah. you know. I don't even remember that. Yeah, so. yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. So, yeah, if you've never seen that, that's something to check out. But it was uh, part of this invasion angle. But then, of course, the big culmination is, I forget the pay-per-view or the the, uh, the event at the arena where the lights go out, Jerry Lawler's in the ring. Yeah. The place goes friggin' nuts. Lights go out, Jim Cornette's in the ring, and it's one of the most memorable moments in ECW. Right, right, right. Yeah. So, very cool. Holds up. Sure does. 